what is the best way to manage large shared drives? So shared drives, for those uninitiated, the way to store all of your information in Google Drive, keeping it safe and secure, and making sure that you and your team are not letting files get into the wrong hands or accidentally get deleted by a third-party contractor or someone else who's outside your business. Now, shared drives allow you to do a few cool things like allow someone to put a file into a drive but not take it out of drive. You can do things like restrict right across the whole folder people from downloading, copying, or printing any of the files that are sitting within that folder. And shared drives are effectively the way that businesses should be sharing files inside of Workspace. If you're not using it, you should be. Check out one of our guides on the channel on how to use shared drives if you're new to getting them set up. Now, there are some limits on your shared drives if you have lots of files or if you have lots of gigabytes. The limit on the drive is technically only limited by the number of files. The actual size of the drive limits is gonna come down to how much space you have available in your total Google Workspace account because nowadays all of your account storage is just pulled together and each one of your users contributes their bit to the storage, but the account holds all the storage. The limits on the number of files in the shared drives from memory are 500,000 items is the maximum that Google wants you to put in a shared drive. And ideally, if you're getting to that many files, you're gonna split them across multiple places or multiple drives. If you want to move your files into different smaller shared drives, my recommendation would be to put them into logical areas of the business. There's two ways of doing that. You can have a simple folder structure if you're just getting started out where you have one shared drive for your executives, one shared drive for your managers, and one shared drive for everyone else, the whole business, right? If you wanna get a bit more sophisticated and you've got lots and lots of files in there, well, you might have one shared drive for each area of the business, one for marketing, one for sales, one for executive, and effectively then you've got different areas of the business covered in that drive and then you know people know where to go to based on the area of the business that they're working in. Now finally you might also choose to have an individual shared drive per client if you're in professional services, if you've got customers that you're working on projects with, all of those you may choose to have in an individual separate bucket and that's where you can use one file or one shared drive for each one of those customers. Now finally if you're finding that you've got a lot of files stored in Google Drive and your Google account in general, your starting to hit the upper limits. One of the ways to tidy it up is to actually do a drive audit. Now, there used to be a drive audit tool. This looks like the one, file rev, folder size analyzer, view folder sizes in Google Drive. Okie dokie, there we go. So I've done this as an example on my, my drive. You can see here, I've got 37 terabytes, which is quite a lot. A lot of uncategorized, which I don't know what they are, but I've got a hell of a lot of meat recordings. <laughs> I've got some lost and found, whatever that is. Screencastify is a uh, screen recording app. And you can see that most of my space is being taken up by video files. They're obviously the heaviest files. So there we go. I can dive into categories if I want. There's folders there as well. A storage analyzer that gives me the actual individual folders there. And so lots of options to view through. So if you're looking for an option to actually do an audit and analyze exactly what's going on in your workspace account, including your shared drives, you do have to pay for a paid plan for the shared drives, but there you go, you've got access to review each one of those. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.